Greetings everybody and welcome back to Stereo and Beyond. And this is a rather quick video following up on the last one because, um, well, it's actually the next part in this whole isolation thing. So um, for those who haven't watched it, I suggest you watch the previous video where I talk about isolation and why I want to get into it. And I also show some products, I believe. I might not have done that, I can't really remember. But I have bought a couple product, changed a couple things in the setup, and um, I think uh, that will just be it for today. Maybe in a later video I will talk more in depth about my whole experience. But before we jump into any of it, I want to say yes. This works and this clearly improved my listening experience. I got more... Not, not not a different sound. I got a better like understanding of what is happening. I got more separation. The bass was more defined and better. And well, the whole thing lifted up my system, all the changes that I did. And I will go over the changes right now. So in the previous video, I just had my deck here, the Topping D70 on these spikes here. Normally these spikes are this way up underneath my SVS PB12. Um, I don't have my SVS PB12, so um, yeah, that's that's in another room. This is uh, the Dynavoice that I have for review at the moment. But I had them like this, like more spread out underneath the deck to isolate it. And I got such an amazing result. And that's the thing that started this whole journey. Uh, into isolation uh, for me. I have always cared about isolation. I, I um, have like, um, um, what's, what's the word? I've done it in my, in my system. I uh, built the rack with isolation in mind. There are rubber pads between all those uh, legs. You see the underside is, is isolated and, and everything. But uh, as I've noticed, uh, it was not enough. Um, also, something that I need to address here real quick, and I have said it many times, but for those who are new, um, because I, I do get a couple, um, well, <laughs> more views uh, on my videos now that I'm used to. So that's that's really nice. Thank you, everybody, and welcome, new people. I hope you, you subscribe because, uh, well, there is more content coming, like always. But these speakers that I have here are nothing like normal speakers. These are so thick and dense. The, the walls are about this, this thick. They are double walled, but even the single walls are thicker than, than any other speaker. So these things are already really good isolated. And well, they had feet on them, but when we moved them, it actually ripped them off and they were held in place with nails this long. So that says something about the whole like weight and girth of these speakers. But the, the isolation of the deck got me such an amazing result that I still wanted to try it with my speakers. Because when I play songs that go really, really low, these speakers go a little bit below 25 hertz. Because they're they're big, big drivers, big speakers. And they have good, uh, well, uh, am amplification. So, yeah, and, and I have measured it, so I know how low they go. And I always, on this side, get a little bit of resonance, like from my uh, uh, cabinets or sometimes even my uh, my drawers here. Sometimes they, they resonate, only when it goes really, really low. Also, I only play with my two speakers here when I'm listening to music. The subwoofer is not involved, it's pure two-channel audio. Sometimes I use my subwoofer, but then I'm playing in surround because I have two systems here, a surround system and a stereo system. So, I decided, let's try to isolate these speakers. Um, what am I going to use for it? Well, um, feet are not an option. 
because they would just shatter them. These spikes are a couple hundred grams and they actually severed them in half. They, they are meant to do this, but they were glued on like with uh, some type of, of foam. So um, yeah, they actually like ripped that apart. So it was time to um, think about something new. What did I do? Well, if you remember the olden days when I had my MB Quad 2000s, the orange speakers, similar but smaller, I isolated them on these IKEA chopping blocks, cutting boards, whatever you want to call it. Thick bamboo triple layer cutting boards, the, the big ones from IKEA. And they are actually really popular with a lot of, well, well-established uh, audio files on the internet. And they are cheap, about 15 euros each. So um, for those speakers, I picked them up and they worked amazingly because, well, those speakers aren't really isolated and, and it's, it's I, I gained really really big results they also are part of these are sealed sealed speakers so the base is really different on this speaker than on on any other ported speaker if i would have had any ported speaker that isn't uh, isolated i would just throw them on there instantly but these bastards are uh, more than 200 pounds each so you're not packing them up i i i did it don't ask me how i no so uh, yeah, I put those cutting boards uh, underneath them. The cutting boards also have those, um, like, what is it, carpet sliders that I showed you in the last video. Really blue, like, spherical things. So I can, like, position them uh, like I, I want to. And, um, well, actually, it, it, it uh, gave me results. The thing is, I didn't do it uh, to begin with. Because, as you can see here, I don't know if you can actually see it. Maybe there is a little bit better. Yeah, they actually stick out about this much from the cutting board. That cutting board is about 45 centimeters in depth. And yes, I did leave a little, like, I don't know, maybe half a centimeter in front. Because, uh, well, it just looks better. But uh, the thing is, on, on that outside over there, there is a, a, like a cutout in the speaker for all the binding posts. They are tri-wireable, so they have like um, uh, three sets of binding posts. One, two, three, so a big cutout in the speaker is required. So it's not really resting uh, there, so I thought, well, let's give it a shot. And it, it, it uh, gave me results. I don't want to say as much results as uh, with my other speakers, which are way lighter, ported, etc. But still, results and uh, definitely results in the resonance throughout the room. So, that, that, that was stage two. Stage three was ordering spikes and ordering some extra isolation. I ordered... Um, well, let me actually show you here what I what I ordered. Any dirty websites open? No, good. Let me let me show you here. So this is Amazon.nl. Uh, let me show you what I ordered. I ordered a set of uh, these. These are Ulbach uh, shock absorbers, rubber pieces. Um, um, I will leave a link down below. And uh, well, as you can see here. They're rubber spheres with um, well, rubber spikes on them both sides. So uh, this is for speakers or amplifiers. Because, well, the spikes that I was planning to use, excuse me, um, are a little bit on the side of that I don't trust them with my heavy amplifiers. So I thought, let's give this a try. And this is what I have right now underneath my sense channel. I don't know if you could see, uh, probably. I have a set of four underneath my center channel. And that already made huge improvements. I haven't really run Odyssey or anything. I am gonna do that. But time has been a little bit um, against me because I just had my exams. I did an exam in, um, in school. It was, uh, well, the, the, the final exam of my, my 
uh, education actually, and I passed. I am an official network, what do you want to call it, network engineer, um, IT. So that's that's nice. But um, yeah, so time's been a little bit against me. So um, yeah, that that got me amazing results. The isolation of the sanity channel. It does like wobble a bit, but. A lot of people say, you don't want speakers to wobble. <laughs> yes, true. If that would be my main speakers, I would worry. But this is a sending channel. It, it's for different things. It has a crossover on it at about 60 hertz. So the really like big, heavy bass notes aren't going to go through this. And because of that, the whole resonance isn't really an issue. Because you don't want the speaker moving because the driver is moving and that could interfere with each other so what i did was still place the isolation underneath it because this thing isn't like going to move that much because well tweeters don't move the mid-range is also not supposed to extrude a whole lot make the speaker move because the movement of the speaker is because of the movement of the drivers pushing the air back and forth. But because like I, I have the uh, cutoff for, for the bass, which requires a lot of movement uh, in the air, uh, cut off, this, this thing actually doesn't move. And I got such amazing results. The focals are so much better. To begin, this does have just the basic rubber feetsy things that come with any other, any other speaker. Same on my, my SVS. I, I had foam underneath my SVS, but this thing is a lot heavier, so I wasn't feeling doing that uh, here. And, um, well, I'm, uh, amazing results, really. The thing doesn't move. It, 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 it's so pinpoint accurate. The voices are amazing. I, I am into sound engineering as well, and I know microphone quality when 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 I hear it, and I can actually pick out. I've always been able to do that. Pick out certain microphones when they are being used, like Neumanns have a, a very specific sound. AKGs, uh, Audio Technicas, Rhodes, they all have a very specific house sound to them, and I could actually like think about. What kind of mic are they using here? And I looked it up at the recording and actually I was right in, in, in a video where a vocal was uh, being sung into a microphone. I thought it was a Neumann and it actually was a Neumann because a Neumann has a really, Frank Sinatra used a Neumann and it has really a house sound to it, just, just the speakers do. And just as with speakers, amplification, or in case of a microphone, uh, equalization doesn't change the house sound. But yeah, it, it, amazing results, ladies and gentlemen. So if you are in a situation where you have your sender channel, like not on a specific stand, because actually these sender channels are meant to go on stands on the floor, but because I don't do that, because I have pretty much my own stand, this thing is is capable of holding this much weight so yeah with that isolation it, it's just amazing and i would highly suggest you pick it up for your center channel but i also used another set because i purchased a set of uh, well eight which is two sets for on each device costing me about 20 euros i actually placed the second set underneath my amplifier because the underside of this amplifier is well vented because there are circuit boards and stuff underneath there so it, it, it isn't like uh, solid and I placed it underneath the feet and it uh, well wobbles now a, a bit I mean it, it, it's not nearly as wobbly as yesterday same goes for the center channel by the way it's it's more solid than yesterday it doesn't wobble as much so yeah, that's that's uh, nice, I guess. It's it's settling in the rubber, but uh, yeah, that's that's uh, where those went. Then I ordered three sets of these little spiky things here. Give me a minute. Uh, I found this on uh, uh, AliExpress, China. I I always like uh, um, AliExpress for like audio things, getting ideas and stuff, and like 
a lot of people knock China for their products, but um, there are some things even to China can screw up, if you know what I mean. Like they, they do know how to use a CNC machine and, and they do know how to screw plastic together. So it's, it's, it's things that are like, you might as well get these from China, ladies and gentlemen, because they are made there. But um, yeah, in terms of I had a discussion with a man, I was selling something and the guy said, well, it's not worth spending this much because it's made in China, blah, blah, blah. Everything is made in China, blah, blah, blah. Clearly says it's made in the UK, but you know, it's people these days, I don't, I, I, I pretty much given up. But um, yeah, these things are made of a solid piece of aluminium, CNC. Those uh, points are actual copper. I uh, have uh, these plates already for my project uh, turntable because uh, uh, for some reason the thing uh, didn't come with uh, like um, spike uh, spheres, spiky holdy things. And uh, so I bought those and I was really impressed with the quality because it's just aluminium anodized. So I thought it's good. So I wanted to order uh, uh, spikes that, that, well, pretty much resembled the same quality. But then I was not feeling waiting about, I don't know, two weeks because China. So actually my Amazon, uh, Amazon.nl has these same things, just a, a, a reseller. Uh, they are sold from uh, Hang, 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 I don't know, but they are uh, shipped from Amazon. So that's nice. They, they came the next day and uh, a set of four uh, spikes with matching uh, bases only cost eight euros and 50 cents. That is cheap, my friends, considering that uh, at the actual factory in China, and it doesn't come cheaper than that. It costs about the same, maybe a couple cents less and free shipping. So that's nice. I, uh, I, I, I immediately ordered them, wanted to try them and I got these because this is the thing I, I did add. I got it from my local store. These are uh, furniture filts when using on like um, wood floors or anything. You don't want your, your a couch to to scratch it so these these come in a pack and these are like thin filled uh, things and we all know that this stuff also uh, isolates but i wanted it mainly for scratch purposes and because my spikes that i did use also have uh, that that same stuff although it is a different material my god these things are destroyed on them so it it helps a little bit with with uh, positioning and isolation I, I suppose so I thought I wanted to get it as well and I got three sets and um, I'm buying more all of them because um, well I am uh, using them underneath my preamplifier as you can see probably I, I don't know I'm using them in this same type of orientation just uh, fill pad spike and then the base is on top of this um, actually you could probably see it underneath my deck yeah there you go we can probably oh 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 we can probably see that yes so I I'm um, uh, I'm doing that and uh, amazing results ladies and gentlemen I'm using them underneath my preamplifier I am using them underneath my deck and I'm using them underneath my audio PC uh, or actually it's just my home theater PC to be honest but it it, it has audio related things in them I will make a video about that in the future uh, because a lot of people underestimate actually putting a pc in their home cinema or um, stereo system and you do need to spend a little bit to have a good good pc that has good components but if you do you set it up properly there aren't many sources that can actually beat it my friends because uh, well the deck isn't the source in in my digital environment it's actually my computer and um well, I did have some problems uh, with it, but I, I fixed them pretty soon. Um, so everything is working hunky-dory now. But um, yeah, I, I'm actually getting another set of those uh, isolators that I have underneath my amplifier and my sound channel for my uh, Denon here, my receiver. I'm not 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 feeling putting... I, I, I do actually trust the spikes to hold it because the spikes are really, really high quality. But... 
it's not worth the hassle in my opinion to do it because i would need to remove the feet and need to, no i i'm not feeling it and it's it's hard to place them because like uh, this this preamp weighs a lot it, it might not seem as heavy but it's heavy and um it's it's uh, difficult putting those spikes underneath it so uh, I had a, a lot of trouble with my uh, PC there, and that doesn't weigh half as much as this chunky receiver because the thing is heavy. So I will just put those those uh, like isolation pads uh, on, underneath it, and it, it, it's fine. But uh, for all my other equipment, like my cassette deck here, uh, I will get them, and also for my other equipment that we have here like my cd player and my uh, pioneer tuner which has moved which is currently not hooked up because i need to make cables uh, i need to make a coax cable for the cd player i need to make cables for uh, everything basically because the cables are too short three meters is, is not really comfortable so i need i need more but um um yeah i i um will be isolating everything from now on and uh, I, I might not isolate the, the shit money but i might actually like get like a set for for when i i get uh, new equipment because i am thinking about upgrading my phono preamp maybe spoiler alert but um yeah amazing results i am getting here ladies and gentlemen i would suggest uh, pick up a set it's cheap it's not expensive Either get them from AliExpress or get them just from uh, my Amazon uh, website. I'm not affiliated with Amazon, but if you live in the Netherlands, you might as well buy them there or Germany or anything uh, close to the Netherlands. Uh, but I will also leave the, the AliExpress uh, link. And I will leave the link to those Ulenbach uh, things. I, I don't know where you can uh, like get them other than, than, than my Amazon. Maybe uh, your Amazon. I have seen them on Amazon.de, I believe. But, but maybe just from Ulenbach. Uh, 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 directly you might uh, be able to get them but I, I would suggest you <laughs> just just pay the money and, and, and play with it because it's way cheaper than cables and way cheaper than the new equipment and my friends it's worth it I was skeptical for a long time I am not anymore and uh, it's worth it 10 times so that's why I'm actually buying more and I'm also giving uh, something to my friends to test with uh, their equipment and they are uh, hopefully amazed uh, by it because um, it does change the sound. It enhances the sound you get. It doesn't really change it in terms of signature and uh, etc. But it enhances it. More separation, more detail, more openness. It, the music flows better. I will make a, a video talking about the, the actual, really like in-depth changes that I'm getting. Uh, from from my tweaks that I've been doing uh, ever since, since since I started, and why tweaking is actually um, like one of the most important things of a hi-fi system, and what defines a hi-fi system, in my opinion. But I will be cutting it here because it has been going on for 23 minutes, so that's 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 not short. Uh, a lot of more content is to come. Uh, content around the Dynavoice speaker that I have had for review. I am writing that review as we speak. So um, that will be coming along. Then I will also be talking about CD players. And um, yeah, th that. Thanks everybody so much for watching. And I will catch you next time in a new video, I hope. Subscribe and thank you very much.